Wednesday, of course, we see Chelsea in action as well. They're taking on Lille in the second leg of their Champions League tie. And then this weekend, they're taking on Middlesbrough. Now, ahead of that game earlier, uh, they released this statement. It's important for the competition that the match against Middlesbrough goes ahead. However, it is with extreme reluctance that we are asking the FA board to direct that the game be played behind closed doors for matters of sporting integrity. Huh? This statement blew up, basically, and they quickly withdrew it, realising the PR own goal that they had scored. It just, it, you just feel, Jules, you, you're just like, read the room. <laughs> yeah, read the room, read the situation, uh, be humble, whatever you want to call it. This was a crazy moment. I think you're right. As soon as they sent or released the statement, they realised what a huge mistake it was. I mean, come on, let's... Let's not insult everybody here. And let's, let's, I know we all know Chelsea are going through tough times uh, and the sanctions are, are hard and I think they're heavy and, and they wanted their fans to be able to go away to Middlesbrough and support them in the FA Cup, although they knew that this was very unlikely. They asked the government, waited for their answer. Once the government said, hang on, you're on the sanctions. The sanctions said you cannot have away fans at games. This is it. It's not going to change. For them to then adopt that position and, and almost beg for the game to be played behind closed doors was just ridiculous. Uh, and, and obviously not agreed and not accepted by the FA, by the government, by anybody involved. I think Middlesbrough were really, really right to respond the way they did. And, uh, and their amazement and their, I think their response was, was completely fair. For Chelsea, the only thing, and I know it's difficult because it's a tough time for the club, but they just need to to get along with things and go along with whatever has been decided by the government in, term, in terms of the sanctions, in terms of travelling, in terms of their own fans, at home and away, in terms of their shirt, whatever is putting through on their path, they have to deal with it. I know it's, it's easier said than done, but this is it. They can't try to and go and, and do things like this more often because they're going to ridicule themselves even more. Uh, Jules, as we're talking about Chelsea, where do we stand on the sale? Well, I believe all the offers are now arriving on the table via the RAIN Group, of course, in the US and also on the table of the governments who are assessing all the contenders. Some, I think there's a lot of background check happening at the moment with, with all those offers and all the contenders, really, where they come from, where is the money coming from, who are their relationship with, who are they in business with, all that kind of stuff, because I think, obviously, it's pretty obvious that whoever is the next owner at that club, you cannot take any risk. There can't, there can't be any mistakes made on whoever, who, who, who's going to take over now. Uh, so I think right now, and this is taking a lot of time, on all those checks about who's, who's potentially taking over, who's making the, the offers. Again, where is the money coming from? What kind of consortium it is? The relationship between all the parties, all of that is being checked at the moment. And I think once all of that is done, they will be able to almost pick who they think will be the best owner going forward for Chelsea Football Club. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.